Hello everybody, my name is Python and welcome back to another episode here of Terraria Master Mode coming at you from the Drunk World scene. Thank you guys so much for all of the wonderful support you guys showed in the last episode. We reached over 1400 likes which is absolutely beautiful to see my friends. Thank you so much for that. If we could keep it up with about a thousand likes per episode as a little bit of a goal for the series, that would be absolutely fantastic. And of course, if you do want to go one further, you could go and use code Python when ordering any sneak energy drinks or to get 5% off when ordering any of my Apex gaming PCs. So, ladies and gentlemen, in the last episode, we absolutely riggedy riggedy ruined Plantera. Not once, not twice, but three times. Now, unfortunately, RNG was a little bit of a butt because, sadly, we haven't managed to get the Master Mode drop from Plantera just yet. So, that means that we need to try and do that at some point soon soon before moving on to another boss. So the question is, where is the nearest Plantera ball gonna be to our arena here, huh? We may have to explore some more of the surrounding jungle to find that out, huh? Because as far as I can see, the nearest one is way down here and that is actually a fair distance away from our arena. However, also in today's episode, I think it'll be a nice idea for us to grind out the remaining three accessories for the Ankh Charm. We are needing the vitamins. You can get those from the Corruptors in the Corruption Biome. We need an Adhesive Bandage, which you can go ahead and get from Werewolves and Anglerfish. And finally, the last thing we need is actually the Trifold Map. We can get those from the Fat Bats Underground and also from Light Mum and clowns. So we got a little bit of grinding to be done today, my friends. But I tell you what, it's probably the last big accessory grinding session we'll ever have to do. Because once you get the ank charm, that's it. You're pretty much immune to most things. Oh, uh, okay. Turns out we actually already have a trifold map. It's right there, in fact. Well, gosh, freaking darn. I thought I picked out all of the accessories already, but there's one there. All right, well, make that only two accessories needed. To the corruption biome we go. Let's use ourselves a battle potion here, ladies and gents. And we're going to see just how long it takes for us to get ourselves the vitamins. Time to absolutely ruin these poor folks, huh? I mean, we are in master mode at the end of the day, and that means we have maximized drop rates for various drops that exist in the game. Corruption key! Wow! Okay, the good news is as well, because we have defeated Plantera, I'm pretty sure that means we can actually open these things as well. The, uh, the biome chest curse is gone. Oh, snap, dude. That is hella good, dude. We can get ourselves the Scourge of the Corruptor, which is a fantastic melee weapon. Gotta love it when RNG gives you a nice early start in the episode, eh? Love it. Oh my god. A second corruption key. <laughs> wow. What the hell, man? Okay, uh, I mean, it's quite something to get one corruption key in one episode, but to get two before you even get the vitamins, which has... Oh, oh my god! Oh my god! I mean, need I say anything more? For goodness sake, I'm literally the god of RNG right now. But anyway, my point is to get ourselves two corruption keys before we even manage to get the vitamins, which has a much higher drop rate. That is really quite something, isn't it, guys? <laughs> but then, as I said that, I got the vitamins. So, yep, there we are. We now only need the adhesive bandage. So, yeah, guys, we're getting there, aren't we? We are very much getting there. There it is, ladies and gentlemen, the Vitamins added to the collection. Oh, snappers. All right, adhesive bandage. You can get them from the anglerfish and werewolves. And also, side note, are you guys noticing this cloud shape on the right-hand side here? That is the brain of Cthulhu. If you guys can't tell already, I'm, I'm pretty damn chuffed today <laughs> to have ourselves the corruption key as well as the accessories we are needing pretty early on for the Ankh Charm. I'm feeling pretty dang stoked right now, dudes. You know what I think would be a cool idea is if you could go ahead and use the various biome chest keys 
to create the biome chests themselves. So technically, they are a renewable piece of furniture. Because otherwise, you only ever get one of the biome chests each on any one world, right? So, yeah. Anyway, I guess since we've got the corruption key, I don't really see a reason why we can't go ahead down to the Dungeoni and see if we can't get ourselves that Scourge of the Corruptor, reforge it, see if we can get something amazing for it, and then see what kind of ponage we are really capable of, eh? And guys, because we've taken down Plantara as well, we're going to have all of the hard mode dungeon dude spawns. Oh, snappers. Oh, it's right there. Ah, well, that certainly makes things easier, doesn't it? Uh, Scourge of the Corruptor, Shadow Key, and various other wares. I mean, let's be honest, it's just this bad boy that we're looking for. Hey, hey, what are you doing there, sir? Oh, ectoplasm. We're going to be able to get all the things now, my friends. The, the magnet sphere, the key brand you just saw right there. Oh, snap. You know what? I've never, ever gone into a dungeon in hard mode, master mode. You know, I've just never done it. This is the first ever time. So we should be getting maximized drop rates for all of the dudes here. Oh, snap. This is fantastic, though. We got coffee. To be honest with you guys, right now, I don't really have a need to really grind anything out of the dungeon, though. No. I mean, at the end of the day, this is what I wanted. I mean, it's a beautiful weapon, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, I mean, look at all these beautiful melee weapons we have now. <laughs> We got some good stuff going on today, my friends. I mean, I guess, strictly speaking, because this is caught in the hallow, I see no reason why we can't class it as a hallow related weapon. Yeah. Ah, oh, Crystal Serpent, you did serve me well early on, but for now, you have been taken over by many, many other weapons here. I mean, these are all great in their own right, aren't they? My goodness. Why is that void bag always full of crap? Look at it. So much stuff, man. <laughs> huh, interesting. At one point or another, the key brand was given a bit of a buff. Deals more damage to injured foes. How much more damage, though? That's the question. You see, if this thing shot out a projectile, I might be more inclined to give it a bit of a go. But let's be honest, I think the Seedler is still going to be the weapon of choice for now. Potentially the Scourge of the Corruptor as well, depending on the kind of damage per second we can do to it, you know? I don't know, man. We've got all of these beautiful melee weapons, and like I say, they're all fantastic in their own right. They all shoot out projectiles of some description, and yeah... They're just, they're all good, man. <laughs> all these melee weapons, they're really making me want to do a freaking class playthrough after this series finishes, ladies and gents. Oh, I must admit, that has been something I've been trying to think about. You know, what series should we do after this one? Do I do some vanilla class playthroughs or do I do a modded series in the form of the Calamity mod? Those two are really the choices that I have sort of come up with in my own head. So, I don't know. If you guys want to go ahead and have your say on what series follows this one, then just head down to the comments area. Now, obviously, that won't be for a fair while yet because I've got a lot of stuff that I want to be doing on the series first. But, you know, it's always nice to go ahead and get feedback from you guys as we go along in terms of what kind of series you guys might be wanting to see on this channel. Now, when it comes to the werewolves and trying to get ourselves the adhesive bandage, we go ahead and get werewolf spawn when when there's a full moon out. Now, according to this, there is not a full moon out tonight. Uh, so, yes. And judging by the fact it's a waxing gibbous, that means that the next night will, in fact, be a full moon. As far as I know, anyway. So, what that means for now is we can head down underground and maybe just kill ourselves some anglerfish and see what happens. All right, battle potion consumed. Let's head down to these various water uh, bits and see if we can't get some anglerfish, eh? I'm pretty sure those guys just spawn in the regular underground layer, right? So, yeah, perhaps we just hang around here and see if we can get any to spawn. Ah, there's one. Hey, buddy. So, in master mode, the adhesive bandage has a 2% chance, or a 1 in 50 chance, of dropping from the angle of fish. Oh god, it's a rock golem! How's the hang- oh, he's dead. <laughs> well, that didn't last very long now, did it? <laughs> rock golem head? Say what? I didn't even know that was a thing! <laughs> well, that's kind of cool, isn't it? Oh, look at that, there's a second rock golem. What the heck? Go on, go on, just die. There you go. Oh my goodness, we get so much gold. Oh, hey there, buddy. How's it hanging, Mandible Calvera? 
Yeah! What do you got there, buddy? Yo, yo, glove. I can't remember if we've already got all this stuff. Uh, let me just check my void bag real quick so I don't embarrass myself. Okay, no, we do have the yo-yo bag. Okay. Um, also, the NPC just died, so we wouldn't have been able to buy anything anyway. Hey, magic quiver. Nice. One of the quintessential brilliant accessories you guys are going to be needing if you have any kind of ranger loadout. Yeah, pretty chuffed about that. Amazing. Oh, and would you look at that? Another one, gloomy maze. Well, that's interesting. One died and another just came right on back. Interesting. Format C. I don't even know if I have that, but then again, we probably won't need it. So, yeah. Hey, buddy. Hi. Another Philosopher's Stone for your boy. Thank you so much. Alrighty, I guess in just a few seconds here, we'll get confirmation from the moon phase detector, whether or not it's going to be a full moon next. Yeah, it is. All right. I mean, to be honest, I'm kind of tempted to just sort of skip the day and just have the night come along and then we can get on with farming some werewolves because honestly, it's not just the adhesive bandage those guys could drop. The moon charm is another thing that we may want to try and get. So yeah, those guys are pretty dang useful when it comes to hard mode farming. Oh my God, a second magic quiver. Nice! <laughs> All right, you know what? We're just about done with the underground farming. Let's go ahead and do the usual, which is organize our inventory and then pretty much just sleep the day away. Wait, what? You can place the golem head. Well, that's interesting. Uh, where can I put it? Uh, there. Yeah, I mean, we'll probably will never be able to see it, but hey-ho. <laughs> All right, remind me then, Dylan, what can we make with this? The Stalker's Quiver with the Putrid Scent, or with a Magma Stone, the Molten Quiver? Ooh, I don't know, man. I think that the Molten Quiver might be a nice upgrade. It does mean trying to get ourselves another Magma Stone, though. And I don't know about you guys, but I rather like setting enemies on fire in this game. <laughs> Well, I was going to go ahead and sleep the day away, but uh, doing the exact opposite and trying to find myself a magma stone might also be a pretty cool idea, right? <laughs> oh, nice. A fire feather. Something that I don't feel like I get that often. We can make flame wings if we really wanted to. Whoa. Hey. Got through in the finish, guys. Got through in the finish. It did take a little bit longer than last episode, but hey-ho, we got through in the finish, and we got there, more to the point, before the night time. So, yeah, pretty happy about that. So we pop on over here, and we should be able to do this thing. There it is, the Molten Quiver. Now, uh, all we got to do now is see if we can get ourselves a good reforge on it, and then we are on to a winner. So, as always, menacing or warding would be fantastic. Go on, one of the two. There we are. Beautiful. Beautiful. So now we've got an increased arrow damage total of 14%. Very, very cool. Huh. Ammo boxes from the traveling merchant. Uh, yes. I'm going to buy five of those. Cool. All right. Another must have for any arena right there. All right, guys. Sleeping away the remainder of the day. That totally rhymed. Fantastic. The full moon approaches. Here we are. So we just need to go to a not so populated place. And then we can get on with killing some werewolves. I hear you. Hey, buddy. Go on. It's got to be a matter of time, right? Surely there's no way we can't get the freaking adhesive bandage from these guys in one night, right? I mean, come on. RNG's been pretty good to us so far. Well, the good news is the werewolves seem to be spawning plenty enough. So I think at this point, we've just got to sort of kind of hope that we get lucky, I guess. Hey, there's the moon charm. That was one of the two things I was looking for. Yeah, there it is. Warding adhesive bandage. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of the grind for the Ankh charm. Let's head on over here and let's get this freaking thing done, guys. I'm really excited about this. I am very happy to say that we've actually got this thing done. So here we are. There's the counter curse mantra, the plan, the medicated bandage, and the armor bracing, which ultimately allows us to make the ant charm, which ultimately, ultimately allows us to make ourselves the beautiful Ankh shield. There it is, ladies and gentlemen. An absolute top tier accessory right there. Absolutely beautiful. It really, really is. Warding or menacing. Oh my God. Wow. Okay. That'll do nicely. 
<laughs> Fantastic, dudes. So look at these three accessories. Absolute top tier accessories we've got here, my friends. Literally cannot be upgraded any further. All of them have got either menacing or warding as well. Oh, no way. A platterable spawned inside of our arena, dude. Oh, that is absolutely fantastic. All right, dudes, we're doing that right freaking now. We are going to take down Plantera. And do you know what? Do we really need buffs? Do we really need buffs? Probably the luckiest Plantera spawn I think I've had. Period. Let's do it. Plantera has awoken. Let's go ahead and, oh, God, zoom out real quick. We also need to take ourselves one of these bad boys. And there we are. The time has come. Let's do this thing. It's Plantera butt kicking time. So as always, ladies and gentlemen, we are merely looking for the beauty that is the master mode drop. If we can get that, I'm going to be so freaking happy. Let's use the seedler. We need to speed this thing along because I don't want to die. All right. If I die, then I might as well retire. We have taken down Plantera three times in a row in the last episode. And if we died in this one, then yeah, I, I literally just suck basically all right come on there we go all right did we get it oh no we didn't how have we still not managed to get it oh that is so freaking sad but look at that we've got the flower of pow guys wow that's awesome it's got 207 damage wow that is ridiculous, isn't it, really? And look at that. We've also got Senex's freaking dev set. That's awesome. Oh, dude. This game just keeps getting better and better. There is another Plantera spawn. I don't know if it spawned literally just now or earlier and I didn't spot it. But, yeah, just to the right of the arena this time. All right. Come on, Plantera. Let's do this thing. I mean, at this point, we are literally on the fifth Plantera we are having to try and take down to try and get the master mode drop. But you know what? I don't think that's neither here nor there. We are able to take her down with absolute ease with the beauty that is the seedler. Come on. Did we get it? No. How is that possible? We've taken her down five times and I'm pretty darn sure the master mode drops are supposed to be a 25% drop. That is ridiculous. I don't know. So we managed to get the super rare things today. But the things that are not supposed to be that rare, we're not getting. <laughs> hey, guys. We just got ourselves a toy sled from the freaking Frost Mimic. There it is. Summons a baby snowman. Yay. Look at this guy. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> Oh, and very season appropriate as well, considering it's winter at the time of me making this video. Oh, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, our first ever life fruit of this series. I'm kind of surprised we didn't manage to get one earlier. But, hey-ho, got there in the finish, didn't we? All right, guys, how about it, huh? Plantera number six. Well, kind of similar to the True Knight's Edge, the Scourge of the Corruptor is absolutely excellent in the first stage. And then, yep, the Seedler comes into play during the second phase. Come on. How about a freaking thing? No! How? How is it possible that we haven't got it yet? Well, it's not often I say this, but uh, how about Plantera number seven? Come on, lassie. How many more freaking times do I have to kill you before I get the master mode drop, eh? I mean, surely you've had enough by now. The amount of defeats you've suffered. Jeez. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Damn it. The problem there is I suffered a whole bunch of hits before the fight even began and therefore I had to use my potion which meant I couldn't use a potion when I actually really needed it. That is unfortunate. Unfortunately, there's not really too much going on in terms of Plantera bulbage near the arena anymore. So maybe we have to wait a little bit before we go ahead and do another fight. All right, two more treasure bags to open up for Plantera though. So let's go ahead and do it. There's the leaf blower, another grenade launcher, and just a bunch of stuff that we pretty much already have. We have a significant amount of money as well at this point, which is just beautiful. Oh, there's no way another Plantera ball spawned in the exact same location. Are you kidding? <laughs> No way, bro! Just when you think she's had enough. Nope. Nope. 
She hasn't. All right, come on then, you freaking dummy. Come on then, lassie. Try it. Did we get it? No! <laughs> this is unbelievable. Right, sod it. Let's reforge the flower pal and see just how... Oh, my gosh. I wonder what Ruthless would do to this weapon in terms of its damage. Ah, huh? ah, uh, oh, wow, 217 damage. Ooh. <laughs> you see, I've never really actually used the flower pal, to be honest. So, uh, I don't know. I'm kind of tempted to give it a little bit of a go, at the very least. I mean, I might as well. I mean, a lot of these various weapons did get buffs in 1.4 or some point or another. Uh, so, yeah, I mean, why not, man? And you know what, ladies and gentlemen? We're going to give it a really good stab against a pirate invasion. I figured that would be a pretty nice idea. We're still looking for the lucky coin, of course, from before. So, who knows, huh? I mean, well, there appears to be a whole bunch of dudes here anyway, so that's a thing. <laughs> wow! Okay! Hey, buddy. You wanna go, do you? You wanna go? 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 Yeah, you wanna go. Come on, get wrecked, you freaking son of a gun. And I'm nearly dead. Oh, God! Come on, then, you silly ninkum poops! What you gonna do, huh? Boom! Oh, my God! Get absolutely riggedy, riggedy wrecked. That's what. Wow! <laughs> All right. Oh, there's a captain. Oh, captain, my captain. Go on. Get ruined, you dingleberries. Yeah. Bringing in all the damage, eh? All right. Uh, if we can not die, though, that'll be even better. So, yep. Yeah. I mean, we were supposed to be testing out the flower of power, but we naturally wound up gravitating towards the seedler instead because it's just far superior to pretty much everything that we've got going on here. However, I haven't tried the Scourge of the Corrupter yet. So, I mean, it could be possible this thing is very, very good with crowd control. I mean, certainly seems to be at the minute. Hey, eh? come on. I'm looking for a lucky coin. It would be so nice to have one, dudes. Hey, there's one dutchy boy out of the game. Oh, uh, that's actually the pirate invasion done. I always forget just how short that invasion actually is when you get good at it. <laughs> well, we've got the black spot. Sadly, we already have that. Uh, and that's about it. Wow, what a disappointing pirate invasion. <sighs> ah, well. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I think for now that is going to wrap it up for today's episode. Unless there's a plant terrible up here? Question mark? Oh, snap. There actually is as well. Come on. One last hurrah. We have to end on a high note, ladies and gentlemen. We simply have to. Plantera number eight? Question mark? Come on, baby. Let's do this thing. Oh, this is going to be another death, guys. This is going to be another death. No. It's going to be another death. I can tell. Come on. No. If that grabber didn't move, I would have been all right. This boss is really trying my patience. So do you know what? I'm ending it, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you guys have enjoyed today's episode, nonetheless, I'd very much appreciate it. If you guys would drop a like if you haven't already. And, of course, hit the subscribe button and ding that bell if you don't want to miss out on my future content. I will get that master mode drop. I will get it. It's just a matter of time. <laughs> oh, for God's sake. What is up with this boss? Why am I stuck on Plantera? Anyway, thanks for watching, folks. I do hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Thank you so much for all of your support. I very much do appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye-bye.